everyone, it's Glem3. Welcome to episode 82 of Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. In the last part, we went through this terrible section where I couldn't leap from vines. But we at least brought the past over here so we can now go and see the electric Lanayru dragon. Cough, cough. He's clearly not that sick. He's just saying cough instead of coughing. Oh, hello. I haven't had a visitor like you here in quite a while. So, interesting thing. Uh, this is going to be like theory time because he says a bunch of stuff, but interestingly enough, he says he hasn't seen humans in a while, but this is the past. Assumedly the same past that the Gate of Time leads to, so you have to wonder how long in the past this is. You're a human, aren't you? You must have come... You must have some reason for coming this far. What is it? Dot, dot, dot. A song? The hell are you talking about? I see. So you're Bader from the Sky, cough. That's not much of a name, is it? How about I add a model number to your name like my friends have got? Maybe LD Bader-16. That works. The thing is, you have to wonder, though, if he's saying that, did he create the robots? And furthermore, if he created the robots, did, um, since they share designs of the Gate of Time, did he also make the Gate of Time? Which is interesting. Oh, I can tell you don't like the sound of that. That's a shame. Cough, cough. So, what can I do for you? Oh, you say you need me to teach you a song? That was a real cough that time. Just for him. Hold on now. Didn't you just say you came from the sky, Bader? So then you're the hero chosen by the goddess, aren't you? See, so it just like, it goes like this. First, there's the water dragon, who forces us to go through a billion tests to prove ourselves. Then there's the fire dragon, who just says, hey, you have the mark on your hand. Then there's this guy who's just like, yeah, you came from the sky. Yeah, you're the hero of time. Despite the fact that there actually have been other humans, like, what if Zelda ran into him? Zelda's on the Zelda's on the surface, and so was the old lady and Impa. Although I must apologize, you see, I can't really help you. I may have enough strength for a brief chat like this, but well, as you can see, I am quite ill. Cough. I'm in no shape to sing, and I think it was the goddess herself who entrusted me with this important duty. <laughs> I feel the deepest shame. Cough. I like how I still laugh at duty. Oh, what am I? Who am I kidding? It's funny. Okay, so anyway, he can't help us right now because he's really sick, poor guy. So, what we need to do is head over this way uh, to get a pretty important item. Now, remember how Groose was saying a tree would liven up uh, the place, the um, sealed temple? Well, here's what he was talking about. Oops, I should have gotten some more stamina. Da -da -da, da -da -da, da -da -da -da. Okay. So, um, there should be a time stone. Yep. So here we can see in the past, although this area is quite grassy, um, I don't. Well, let's talk to him first. Yeah, the 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 soil isn't fertile enough for it to grow quickly enough. Master Thunder Dragon's condition has been bad for a long time. I don't know why he g I give him whatever. And the soil here is not suitable for growing trees. Zert. If only we had more time, Verm. Yeah, so we need a place uh, that's suitable for growing trees, and we need more time. And what place has both of those things? Why, the Sealed Temple. What are you doing with that seedling, Verm? Master Thunder Dragon needs that fruit from the Tree of Life to recover. Unless you mean to help our master. Just not really. Well, since you uprooted it, it's your responsibility now. For, I like how he just doesn't care. Like, he will die. Everything will die. Oh well, though. It's your responsibility. Oh well, let's go get this. Oops. Oh no, I killed the flowers. Ding. We've gotten a lot of those now. Oh, oh, and here's some ancient flowers in case, in case you want some more. Oops, I activated the final boss screen of death. Alrighty then. And I mean, if you want to, you can get rid of the sand. But there's not really any point. So, let's head back up to the sky. And go and drop it off in the sealed temple. Oops. Let's just use our bow, hopefully. Yep. Yep. 
Okay. So yeah, like I was saying, let's head back to the sky. I'm actually just going to meet you guys in the sealed temple. Transition, go! Okay, so here we are in the sealed grounds. I don't know why I'm dropping off here. I actually think it's faster than just going uh, to the behind the temple area. So, oops. Let's just dash over there. Um, I haven't really had any time to go and explore. And if he just wants to talk about the battery again, yay. But yeah, I haven't really explored the area... Uh, leading down. But we can do that later. And I think we might even get to learn the last part of the song of the goddess in this part. Firstly, though, let's go back in time. I, they're, they're also... There feels like... So, there's, bleh, can't even talk. I feel like there's a lot of untapped potential, though, with what they could have done with the gate of time, like, you just go back in time, and you can only go in this one area. I feel like there's a whole ton of stuff they could have done with... Same thing with, um, night and day. They didn't really do any night and day gimmick stuff. Like, you can sleep, and it will be night, but you can only do that in Skyloft. Anyway, that's the only time you'll see the plant prompt in the game. But there it is. So, let's go to thousands of years in the future. You'd think that in a thousand years it would probably be dead or something, but oh well. But yeah, you see, some of the symbols on this thing look like they match to some of the uh, symbols in the robot factory and stuff. So if the um, if Lanayru made the robots, then he would probably have made the Gate of Time too, which would make sense because that's the area that has all the time shift stones. Anyway, Groose is like, "Whoa, oh yeah, now this is a tree I could look at all day, but this is confusing because this would have always been here now, except." Huh. Timelines are confusing. You got the giant fruit! It cures any illness. Why don't we eat it? Well, I guess we're not sick, but... Oh well. Oh wait, what? I just had this instinct to go through to game of time. Anyway, I'm just gonna cut back to, um... The Thunder Dragon. See you guys there. Skeetity bop, yeah! So anyway... Let's run up to him and get a cutscene. <laughs> oh, Bader, hello there. Is there something you need? I carried this in my butt for you. I feel like Nintendo's just making fun of themselves there for the fact that he pulls out that giant fruit. Oh, oh, is that what I think it is? You brought that here for me, didn't you? Oh, that would suck if he missed and just fell into the pit. That was the only chance. Zing-a-ding-ding! -ding! He's gonna explode. Oh, crap, he died. Oh, nope. Turned out the, p the plant was just water. Ordinary water. Mixed with a little bit of our old friend LSD. Don't do drugs, kids. Or you'll become a dragon and start flying around. Mm. Just because I have eternal life doesn't mean I can't get mighty sick. Wait, he's not even sick anymore. Thanks to you, boy. I'm still doing a sick voice. I can't help it. All my voices sound the same anyway. Who cares? I owe you a big thank you. So allow me to perform my rendition of Song of the Hero... I got a mean set of pipes, and I know how to use them. This will clean out those ears, boy, so brace yourself. got the last part of the song of the hero or uh actually technically we still need to go back to Leviathan so he can teach us his part and you know what? we're gonna do that in this episode Bader I owe you my life I uh, you have to let me repay you give me some time to prepare and when you next return to visit me I believe you'll be mighty pleased so yeah we will be coming back for him later oh my gosh I think that after no I'm crazy never mind we still have some stuff to do 
There's not that much left to do, though, surprisingly. Of course, 100%, there's gonna be stuff to do there, but besides that... Anyway, let's head back to the sky. Now that we have the three parts of the Song of the Hero, we can go meet up with Leviathan, and I will cut to there. Doing a lot of editing in this video. Yahoo! I'm out of transition noises. Who are you people? Here. Let's be friends. Come on. Ah, I hit him! Yes! My life is complete. Okay, Thunderhead. I get it, you're far away. You don't need to keep flaunting it. Here we go. And this is going to be our first time being back in here since it's all bright and sunny. It feels kind of weird after seeing it cloudy for so long. Oh, and there's uh, Levias. Weird, it looks like he was under... Oh, wait, no, he's flying upwards. Whoops. Hey there. We need to talk. Must be hard to talk to someone when they're on your head. Baha! So you've learned all three parts of the song from the dragons, eh? You have done well, young one. True to my word, I will perform the last part of the song for you. Ahem. There we go. The cutscenes in this game are seriously amazing. Nintendo did such a good job with them. And beyond that, we basically just created the Legend of Zelda theme song. Which is amazing. Now that you know the song, I trust you know what to do with it. That old song opens a door to a great trial! Yes, trial. That sounds familiar, right? Trial version. Trial realm. A realm of the quiet variety. Yes, we have one Silent Realm remaining. And where do you think it is? Well, let's go see. Uh, um, uh, Levias, you're not making- uh, Levias, that was inside of you. It's the first time I've ever been able to say that. Okay, let's just leave. I will meet up with you guys outside. I'm not, you know what? No, I'm not. I've been doing way too much cutting in this part. Although it kind of makes sense because we've been going between areas a bit, so. Let's fly out through here. It's kind of weird how this weird effect stays the same even though this place is sunny now. It like still has a stormy, spirally thing to it. But yeah, Skyloft isn't that far away. And yes, it is on Skyloft, as you would probably assume. I mean, they're not going to put a trial in the Lumpy Pumpkin. Although, that would be kind of amazing. I really wish there were more big islands in the sky, but oh well. It can't be, like, as expensive as the Wind Waker. That would take 
way too much time for them to make. Um, so just, oops, I, I should have landed closer to the base of the area, but oh well. And here we are, back on Skyloft, where I'm pretty excited to start spending more time for side quests and stuff. But in the meantime, you can see some butterflies over there. In the next part, we will activate the final, completely 100% final Silent Realm, which I assume will be equally as crazy and tense as the past few have been. So, we do that in the next video. Um, comment question is, what is your favorite harp song? I forget if I asked that already, but I'm asking it now because we actually learned all of them now. What is your favorite harp song? Put that in the comments below. Uh, things I always say, you can subscribe up above, as you probably know. Links to Facebook and Twitter, no pun intended, are on my channel. So, I will see you guys next time.